I, I wanted to clarify something that I was talking about last night, actually, about lasers and how, um, and how, like, there's really only two lasers that I use basically now for everything, right? And the Milwaukee's putting out a line of five lasers, right? Five different lasers. And I, I would be, I would only use one, if any, like I would just use one of those five, because the other one that I use is a rotator laser, rotating laser. Get on. Hail to the king, baby. <laughs> that's the, that's why I'm shocked, though. Okay, like this is what I have. This is my problem with this. Okay. Hey, man, Canadian Radio Shack, eh? That's the, that's why I'm shocked, though. Okay, like this is what I have. This is my problem with this. Okay. Um, I, I just, my head was scratching and I'm like, what, this kind of doesn't make sense to me because they have, um, this laser and then they have the four other ones, okay? Uh, I know Hilti has a good, a variety of lasers, but <clears throat> when you're breaking into the, this kind of market, I would think you would compete at the rotary level and then just the, the two, the two, uh, the two line uh, lasers, you know, uh, because those are the only ones anyone ever uses. There's only one laser you need for a hole. That's that is just a line laser that goes vertical or you know vertical, sorry, and horizontal. I I get I get um, dyslexic there sometimes, but you know what I mean, right? Okay, there's this there is this laser here, right? This rotator. This is the or get the one with the receiver. Sorry, okay. You want you want to get the one with the receiver. <clears throat> Uh, it's like the it's it's the one rotator that you're gonna ever gonna ever gonna need man and That's the one laser so Milwaukee does, it didn't include that in the lineup Right they didn't include that so to me. It's like you're picking one out of five different different types <clears throat> Why not like like focus your efforts on two good lasers, right? The ones that people are gonna use the rotator and a, and a line laser just focus your efforts, get two good lasers going, and then, you know, then you can branch out. I just think that maybe they'll be end up being forced and they won't be a very good quality. I don't use pin lasers at all anymore for nothing. Um, this here is a kind of a cool laser. This is kind of cool, but honestly, the, the 2LG, that's it. That's all you're ever gonna need. The red lines, why, I don't like, forget the red lines. Uh, stick with this one laser, so, that's all the one Milwaukee needed to do was come up with a laser like this. Okay? M maybe because this one you have to buy the attachment, which is another $150. So look, so $450, five, six hundred dollars to set that laser up. And that's that exactly right. That's what I spent to set the um, that laser up. It was six hundred dollars. Um, and and so let's cut quite a pricey uh, pricey setup, you know? But it's amazing though. You could drop this thing, you can um, uh, it, it, it's amazing. This laser is absolutely amazing. It, it, I've done everything with it. My doors, uh, leveling sheets, um, like I leveling all my first sheets, plumbing up studs, uh, you know, shooting my top track in. It's amazing, right? Um, um, never had any. It does everything. Okay, so it's worth the money. The the line is so thin. It's it's beautiful, right? One hundred thirty eight dollars. So. Uh, yeah, this is the the mount that I have for it. It's actually it's it's great. It's really great uh, Just take a quick peek here Oh, these are these are um, I've seen these before uh, I've seen the I've seen quite a few of these actually this looks weird um, Yeah, see this one here uh, <clears throat> Yeah, these would be the ones I think I would say to grab. I'm just gonna take another look. These are these are like you know, are, like they're okay, but they're big and they're kind of clunky and um, they they're just yeah, like these do everything these would do, you know. Um, maybe these will go further, but um, like it's not a big deal. Like you're only you can only go so far before you got to move your scaffolding or your lift or something over anyway right so yeah just just out of real life you know use maybe these here i don't know these look pretty dope like these could be the new 
with plum bob points. Oh, these got plum points too? Um, so this is kind of like an all around thing, eh? Yeah, this one, this is like an all, all around laser here. If you had this one, you have your, your, your plum line and you got uh, two lines, which is good. If you're in steel stud and drywall and you're not using Hilti, then, then you're just, you're, you're really, you're, you're putting yourself at a loss. You're, you know what I mean? Like you're at a disadvantage to the people who are, who are using that platform. <laughs> I hit that by accident. That's awesome. So Milwaukee, I mean, I just don't know where their head was at when they're thinking of what lasers to make. Let's take a peeky poo here. Three possums killed. You don't need an extra horizontal. Those corners like that, like adjusting those corners like that. I don't. I don't know anybody who does it like that. So. Here's the one right here, okay? The, the line, the plum. Two lines and a plum. Two lines. Two, two uh, like a plum and a straight line. And then they got a bigger one, version of this one, right? Two lines and a plum. And then this one here, I, I thought this one had three of these. Maybe it only does have the two, right? Which is makes sense, but th this is why the Dewalt one. I did not like this layout. I did not like this style of laser at all. It. I didn't like it. it too, it's too hard to set out everything up. Um, the the line is too far from the ground. Um, it it just wasn't a good good layout for me. This this design it, it completely was not um, not not very useful. Not when I'm not when I was used to the this just something like this. And, and look, this is just on a stand, right? This is just like that uh, Dualt one, but hopefully better, right? So I would I would just be looking at this one, you know, this one or this one. I, if you want the plumb line, I guess, but it's not necessary. Like I would never, I don't know, man. Like the plumb line is kind of, sometimes I'll, I'll like, I'll pin a corner, you know, and just put a little dot, but I, it's to me that's like an extra step. It's a waste of time. Like you don't really need to do that. Um, it, it's yeah. These are the line ones are, are the ones that uh, are important, right? Uh, you can do everything. You can put your doors in it, in with them. You know, level your drywall, your first sheets with them. Um, you you know everything. Do your ceilings, bulkheads, and like amazing time. Don't I sure hope you guys aren't aren't like using p p plum lasers and pinning up one side making a dot walking over blowing up another side making a dot like i hope you guys aren't doing that every for every 10 foot section moving your 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 plum lasers and stuff if, you, if you're doing that please do not do that anymore get yourself a line laser shoot the goddamn line all right and then just boom 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 okay you don't have to move the damn thing you set it up once and that's why you always do your top track first too right shoot your line up pin it all and done one laser shot you're done you know sometimes um uh, once i go this way all right because then i'll shoot in the stud up the columns and whatnot i'll then move the laser around at the very end just to shoot that last column up the last or whatever or the wall stud whatever you're done you know you ate it he says <laughs> so um yeah like I mean, this this one right here would be the be the best one they have, I would say, right here. Um, and then go with this if you want the the plum, the pin. I haven't seen this yet. Um, they all come with with rechargeable batteries, right? They're all rechargeable. Uh, you can see, I think these are like USB plug-in rechargeable or something. You know, you can plug them in like you know your cell phone type thing. But yeah, see, like, see, these are really hard to set up, guys. Like, you just, you, you just don't understand. Like, the, the other ones are, and what are these dials? Like, they can fine tune them a little bit. I don't know. I yeah, I don't ever see anyone doing that kind of thing, unless maybe they're, it's something with a different trade that I don't know about. But not for, not for carpentry or steel stud or anything, you don't do that. Right, and that's overkill for a ceiling too, right? 
<clears throat> so, you know, but that that price though, right? It seems like it's a good value, you know. Um, and then even at 4.99, this one right here, like, you know, that seems like this is like a, this would be a decent one. I'd be I'd be interested to see this. I like the mode button. I do like that. Um, see that you can lock it, unlock it, just you know. And but yeah, so M12, right? But yeah, like these don't like I this one here doesn't make sense. I don't know what this trade this one would be for. Some trade might use this that I don't know about actually, but if you know, let me know. I got some uh, some uh, some some. Um, some streams planned, uh, and a healthy store tour coming up. So that's gonna be cool, cool beans. It sounds like some '80s rock shit. So, like hair, hair band. Sergeant Joe. Hey, Sergeant Joe. What's up, man? Okay, here. Is this one going to show me what... Yeah, see, nobody knows what that's for. Yeah, see, like, you charge them like USB, right? Shout out Sergeant Joe Smith, man. Yeah! Good to see you, dude. Sergeant Joe Smith, you know what this kind of laser would be used for? The one with the, the plum laser and then the pointing laser? I just, uh, I'm trying to figure it out. Like, it's got to be plumbing or HVAC or something. That's handy. That's a handy feature, actually. I just, I don't know. Those are a real pain in the ass, those lasers. I just don't like them. Milwaukee's got a good thing going, yeah. Yeah, and that's what I that's why this is constructive criticism from my point of view, you know Because I, I definitely would like to see them be better than you know and I, And yeah, why not focus on two really good lasers a rotating one and a and a, and a, and a good line one Th Those those plumb lines like I don't like I'm serious like yeah, okay. They probably use them for um, like like uh, dotting up uh, coring for coring holes and things like that so I can I can I can see the, the adding the the plum for certain trades right the actual pointing laser I don't get that uh, so there is another a company that makes great lasers and that is PLS so I I obviously I use the the uh, the healthy lasers right uh, myself I haven't seen like I haven't used the PLS in a while so I'm gonna take a look here this one here uh, it's not. They must have a green one by now, eh? I've used this one here, right? And they're good. Like the line is the the line is nice and thin. Uh, they have great distance, right? Um, so yeah, you just want you just want to check them out for utility, right? But a lot of um, carpenters and um, other trades use this laser, like the the PLS lasers. Right? I gotta check these out. These this looks like a nice looking laser, eh? As well. Oh, nice kits. <clears throat> um these ones are for like distance, like out doing groundwork and things like that. That's what I you know, uh they'll you see like shooting elevations right there. There's the elevation stick right there. See? So they'll they'll be uh, that's what that's for, right? So it depends on what you're doing with the laser, right? So for groundwork and things like that, I would probably I would go with this PLS, right? But for doing a, a exterior steel set wall, that's you know really really like it's a big building, for example, you know like um, I would use the the Hilti for that. Yeah, it's a nice laser, right? Eh? Yeah. 
Yeah, these are great. So for setting, oh, for concrete. So this guy's using it for concrete. So setting your pile cap elevations and your grade beam elevations and all like all that you would use. This laser is great for that. Um, nice kit. Well, that seems cheap, eh? 900 bucks for that kit? That seems really cheap. Yeah, this kit I see. This is the kit I see a lot of people get. Um, so yeah, there's another good laser right there. Is, is PLS. Is, that, is anyways, that's the point. Of, <laughs> right? Uh, the Hilti uses double A's. Um, I think they all use double A's. I don't, I don't know if they use any, tri I, don't, I don't know any laser that uses AAA, but um, yeah, it'd be nice to get everything on 12 volt, right? But even even uh, Milwaukee, what they've done is they, their new lasers, that's, that's just what's neat about that, is they have the rechargeable Milwaukee battery, right? They're like the AA almost, and the, you charge it like a cell phone, you know, which is really neat. That's, that is, it's about time, you know? Um, it looks like you can replace those batteries as well, right? Which is good. So you you have a laser over time, right? I'll be uh, live again tomorrow night, uh, 7.30 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Sergeant Joe Smith. Yo, man, my buddy turned, uh, my buddy at work turned 35 yesterday. Can you shout out Craven Moorhead? Yeah, shout out Craven Moorhead. Happy 35th. You know it, Sergeant Joe Smith. Craven Moorhead, happy 35th, man. Bye for now, guys.